today we're going to be looking at multiplying with base 10 blocks. We're going to look at the problem 24 times 38. Step 1 tells us to show the first number with base 10 blocks vertically on our workspace. So we have two flats and four rods to show that. To prove that I have 21, I know that I have 10 here and 10 is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that shows that I have 24. Next, I need to show the second number with my base 10 blocks horizontally attached to our first step. So I already have 10 here. I'm going to add two flats to make it 30 and eight rods to make it 38. You can see now that I have created an L shape. I need to fill in the L shape for step three to make it a rectangle. You can see that now I have my original L shape, but I filled in to make it a complete rectangle. Step four says to count your base 10 blocks. So I'm going to look that I have two, four, six flats and write it down so we don't forget. Okay, then I'm gonna count my rods. I know this is a group of eight from my 38, and another group of eight makes it 16. I have my groups of four. 16 plus four is a friendly combination, which I know is gonna make 20, plus four more makes 24, plus four more makes 28. If I wasn't able to do that quick math in my head, I could count them out as well. So I'm gonna write that down. Lastly, I look at my units. I can see that my units have made an array. My array is four high and eight wide. I know that from my four in my 24, and my eight in my 32. Four times eight. I know that four times eight is 32. I could again count these out if I needed to. Then I'm gonna look at the value of each of these so I know that six flats is equal to 600. I know that 28 rods is equal to 280. And I know that 32 units is equal to 32. Now, step five is to add my three numbers together to get my final answer. So I need to go 600 plus 280 plus 32. First, I'm gonna look at my hundreds. I have 600 plus 200 here. So I know that that's equal to 800. Plus 80 plus 32. Now, I'm gonna look at my tens. I have 80 and a 30. And I know that eight plus three is 11, so it has to be 110. So 800 plus 110 plus my two from my 32. Now I know that 800 plus 110 is going to be 910 plus 2 will be 912. So I know that my answer to my original problem of 24 times 32 is equal to 912. 